Hello YouTubers and uh, welcome to this YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the skin selector into Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So basically what you have to do is find where your GTA San Andreas is installed. So if you've got the 64-bit system, it will be in Program Files x86. You need to look for Rockstar Games. In here, you should find this. I put mine in this folder because I modded mine. So I don't need the disc and I've got custom missions. So basically, in here, you will need to use this skin folder. But firstly, the way of doing this is first you'll have to download this. All the links will be in the description. So you have to download WinRAR. So basically, how you download this, I've already done it, but I've already set it up. You need to find what um, bit your operating system is. So as you can see here, I'm 64-bit. You just look for system type, 64-bit. So basically, I click on English. You just look for English. I'll highlight it, this one. If you speak another language, then just pick another one. You click on that, and it will download again. And when you open that, I've already got it installed, so I'm not actually going to install it, but I'll just show you how it works. Basically, you press install. Oh, God, I've already done that. I don't want to do that again. Yeah, and it will install. And then you can choose what you want to use it for. Then, after you've installed that, you will need to download the skin selector. So basically, all you have to do is click where it says skin.zip. You don't just need Clio 3, but Clio, you can use Clio 3. I'm using Clio 4. So this is the zip folder you'll need. You click on that and you will get this. Oops. Oh, it's gone now. Okay, I'll just download it again. Oh, that one was a shortcut. I'll just delete it. Uh, so basically, you need to open that straight away. And I'll show you how it works. Once you've done the Clio setup, which you do by opening that, and how you get Clio is you go to this website called Clio Library, and you can, once you get here, there will be this download the latest version you need to click that and it will download Clio 4 if you want other Clio versions I'll find some other websites and there will be links in the description if I can find any others so basically um, I'm just going to drag this to the desktop this is what you need but it seems not to be working at the moment. Well, basically, inside that folder is the stuff that you need. Uh, it it does actually work because um, I got it installed, as you can see here. So I'll just show you how it works. If this one opens, then that'll be great. Because it worked. It's just as soon as I need to record it doesn't. But There's no viruses or anything. Everything's scanned. Application of... Uh, so it's just trying to be a pain in the arse now. But basically... If it comes from here it should work. Anyway, I'll just simulate what it's supposed to do. Basically, it's supposed to have files, but you need to copy everything except for GTA.dat. If you copy GTA.dat and put it in the wrong place, it will not load. So where you got to put GTA.dat, which means data, is into your data folder. I'm just going to mute the volume just to prove that it works. I'm going to open GTA and it's going to be loud. Um, 
yeah, this folder, this, as you can see here, this is the recent thing, that came from this folder whilst it was working. So, this gta.dat, you need to copy into your data folder, otherwise it will not work. So, just to prove that it works, I'm going to launch San Andreas. I don't know if you can see the screen, but hopefully you can. Because I'm using not that good of a recorder, because it's supposed to be a desktop recorder, but... Uh, standard game. So basically, how this works... Let me just skip the intro. There's no sound anyway, because I turned off sound. Ah. Uh, tab QE and now you would have if you just press um, left shift you can have special actors um, if, if you press um, left mouse button you get extreme spawn with guns and if you just press left shift it spawns them normally so you can just use the WS or up and down I don't know, you can't use a numpad. And then you just press enter to go back, which doesn't make sense. I think it's because it's a return key, but yeah, you can just look through them. Um, I'll try and do a video on how you can get uh, add-on characters, but when you first download it, you will, have, you will get you will get Renko. So, I'll show you how it works. Then you press the enter button until it exits. I'm going to get on the bike and there's gang members everywhere. <laughs> there we go, look, I'm Renko. So that's basically it. It's just, um, it's just fun to mess around with. Because, like, if you complete the game, then you can just play as other characters and stuff. You can pretend to be the police. or You can also use the design your own mission mod to change character as well Oops. so i was looking at something else let's just take this person actually i'll just attack him oh shit there's cops i want to get on the bike not the car i want to get on the fuck <laughs> all right let me just turn the mouse so I see where i'm going well, anyway, I'm just going to quit game now. Eh. Uh, well, basically, that's how you get that stop working. I quit. That's a bit stupid. Um, yeah, that's basically how you get... Um, that's how you get custom skins. Um, thanks for watching and bye. Oh, one more thing. Um, subscribe and with Clio 4... Um, I didn't show the setup, but basically you just launch it and it will, you just say where your GTA is located. I'll just quickly go over Clio 4 quickly. If you've not already got it installed, you'll need to press English, next, next, and then click browse. And then you just find where your game is installed. I will look for... Rockstar Games, and yeah, that's basically it. Then you press next, and that's it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and bye.